Hey, hey, y'all. Uh, real quick for you guys, when you get out here, if you ever run into an issue where your trailing lights are not working or you got some of them working and the rest aren't, uh, just real quick, this may work for you, it may not, depending on what the issue is. First thing you want to do, get you some WD-40 or either some ether. And you want to go back here to your power lines. Open them up. Spray inside both sockets on the tractor and inside of the power line and inside of your trailer and inside of the power line. And also, if that does not work, well, first off, that could be the issue because it could be some dirt or grime in there stopping it from getting a clear connection. Uh, again, I'm not a mechanic, but I'm trying to give y'all as much information as I can to help y'all out in this trucking journey. Another thing you want to do depending on the type of truck look underneath of the hood for your fuse box see i got a box of fuses here this one has two boxes here it's got one right here and one right here if you don't know what you're looking for if you look uh it'll have codes and it'll show you like uh trailer turn f5 and then it'll tell you what kind of fuse you need it needs a 20 a 20 or you look right here trailer turn right this needs a 20 or you see trailer abs this needs a 30 and uh what we're talking about is 5 10 15 20 25 30 the type of fuses that go on there also you're going to want you some type of needle nose pliers some of these this one has the smaller uh fuses and they're hard to get to it came with this but the way that's situated, this is a plant where you can dig in there and pull it out. But the way that it's situated, it's kind of difficult to get them out of there. So if you got some type of needle nose plier, or uh, even if you got a flathead screwdriver and you want to put your thumb up against it and pull it out, you got to do what you got to do. But if you're out here and your trailer light's not working, before you go pull into the shop, costing yourself money or costing the owner of the company some money. Check your electrical lines behind here. They could be loose. Jiggle them around, push them in. They could be loose. Uh, if they're not loose, pull them out, spray them with some WD-40 or some ether to clean them out. Stick them back in, make sure they got a, uh, a firm connection and a clear connection. If that doesn't work, check your fuses. This particular truck fuses is inside the hood. My other trucks is right underneath of the gas pedal, so every truck is different. Till next.